welcome back to the Redbeard Outdoors podcast. I am Jonathan, your host, and here at Redbeard Outdoors, I talk about faith, family, fitness, and of course, the outdoors, and how incorporating those aspects of, well, just ideas into your life can help you live a happier, more successful life. Uh, They're just things that I've seen people that I either have looked up to in the past or still look up to apply in their lives consistently and lead happier, healthier, and more successful lives. And I want that for you. So as I'm on this journey, I'm sharing it with you. And so today, welcome to the Wednesday Wake Up. And for Wednesday Wake Up, I share generally a short quote or something, some thoughts that I have just to kind of get us through the rest of the week. We're halfway through the work week, uh, the normal work week. I understand there's some people that, that don't get to work them, you know, Monday through Friday jobs. Um, and I appreciate all the sacrifices that you make because generally those are not easy jobs, but halfway through the week here, uh, I do want to share a quote with you, but before that, excuse me, I want to share, uh, some of the show, partners and sponsors. I've got some great companies that I work with guys and all of their links are down below. And uh, if I can save you money with these companies, I do. And I don't recommend things that I don't personally use or haven't tested. Uh, And again, I I apologize for not having put out a gear review the last couple weeks. Um, We've had some stuff going on and and just haven't been able to test the gear the way that I want to. And I don't want to lie to you guys and tell you that I like something when I don't. Um, So anyway, some of the gear and uh, companies that I work with uh, would be alpenfuel.com. Alpenfuel is just an amazing company. They have the best hands down granola you will find for the backcountry, period. There's no argument. (laughs) And if you try, I'll hear you out, but I don't agree with you. (laughs) Alpenfuel makes the best granola out there. My favorite is the white chocolate cranberry. Uh, with a close second being the caramel apple or the chocolate strawberry, but they have other flavors as well. And if you're looking for something more than granola, they also sell Heather's Choice and Peak Refuel on their site. You can still get the discount uh, with the link down below. Go order, get stocked up. Um, You know, shipping and all that happening nowadays. Uh, You want to get stocked up before the hunting season, and we're well into backpacking hiking season. So get your backcountry granola over at alpinefuel.com. Another great company, Absolute Aid. Not only do I like C- their CBD oil, or their CBD chewables, uh, it's THC-free, clean company. They have multiple different formulas based on what your need is, but they're just great individuals in general. They love to get outside. They seek to do more on a consistent basis. If you want to add CBD chewables to your vitamin regimen, uh, to help with your recovery, to help with maybe calm uh, some anxiety that may be going on, go check out absoluteaid.com. Again, code down below. If you have a beard, whether it be short or long, or you know someone that has a beard that's constantly itching their beard, go get some Affect Beard Oil. Uh, again, the link down below, Affect Beard Oil, 10% of your purchase goes towards charity. It's a local company, great guy. Uh, I love him and his family are just looking to do great things and uh, great scent as well as far as the oil is concerned. If you have a longer beard, I definitely recommend the Beard Butter as well to help you shape up the beard and look nice, whether it be just for yourself or if you're taking your special someone out on a date. So go check out Affic Beard Oil. And then just some other companies that I wanted to mention uh, that I don't necessarily have discount codes for you. But Kafaru, if you need a backpack, guys, I'm telling you, it's one of those buy once, cry once, made in the USA, great quality gear. Uh, I love their, I've got the Hellbender, I have the Shape Charge, those are kind of my go-tos. The Hellbender has the frame, the duplex light frame, carries weight like no other. I literally strapped my 15-year-old son into it, Uh, it looked like a baby carrier, and honestly, I could have carried him around. He's 120, 130 pounds, so super easy. Go check out Kafaru and uh, get you a good backpack for this hunting season. Also, I'll be out there grand opening up in Wyoming. If you're in Wyoming, come check it out. Go check out my Instagram for the details on that. All right, guys, other than that, let's get you into this Wednesday wake up. And for Wednesday wake up, I just wanted to share a quote. I've been reading How to Master the Art of Selling by Tom Hopkins. And if you do any sort of sales, 
definitely recommend this book. This will be a book that I read and reread over and over again. It's got so much information in it and it's not boring. It's not like an encyclopedia where you just sit there and just kind of boringly read stuff, but it's got great information, many lessons to learn there. Uh, But the quote that I want to share today is the pain of every change is forgotten when the benefits of that change are realized. Let me say that again. The pain of every change is forgotten when the benefits of that change are realized. So that definitely applies to me uh, in multiple reasons. But my biggest journey now, I I put on a a little bit of weight back uh, because I went to, you know, I wanted to try bulking. It's not really the way I want to go with my life. So I'm going to cut back down. And anytime you cut out some calories, it sucks. Uh, there's moments where you're going to be hungry. There's moments where you may feel a little bit more irritable because you're cutting out calories that you're used to having that your body wants and craves. Um, there's some pain there, but I, what helps me is looking at where I want to be and where I can excel and how I felt, um, when I was at my lowest weight and where I want to get back to and even surpass. Uh, that is something that helps me because when you realize benefits, the benefits of the changes that you are making, you honestly do forget the pain that you went through to make that change. Any change that you make is uncomfortable, whether that be changing a job, whether that be adding a child to the family, that's a change. It's not easy. You love the child. There's nothing about adding children that you don't love, but it's not easy (laughs) waking up in the middle of the night or your wife you know, not having the sleep that she deserves or needs and having other children as well that need your attention just as much, uh, you know, adding children to the family, losing weight, changing jobs, uh, whether you're adding a new habit, if that's reading, you know, you're used to just listening to everything and all of a sudden you want to add reading in, uh, that's not easy. You know, if you're wanting to add physical exercise or in, or add intensity to your exercise, that's not easy. It's going to suck. You're going to be out of breath at times. Uh, you're going to feel like you want to puke. You know, for me recently, another change that I made in the last couple months was adding mobility. And I am about as stiff as a two by four, uh, when it comes to stretching and mobility. Now I'm not, you know, over the last couple months, I've just done 10 to 15 minutes a day of mobility, whether that be in my shoulders or my hips, uh, you know, mainly are the places where I focus. Uh, but also, you know, with your, your ankles, it, basically anywhere that you bend, you can be more mobile. And that's something that I've been adding and it's helped me a ton. It's not comfortable when you first start. It's a little bit painful to be honest with you, but now I don't have any back pain and I was getting some back pain. Uh, and it was, it was uh, kind of a big issue and I didn't realize certain things that you wouldn't think cause the back pain were causing my back pain. So that's another pain. Those are all physical things. If you maybe, I don't know, maybe you messed up, uh, you're in some financial dire straits, it's not easy to make a change to maybe stop going out to eat so much or spending money on things that you don't need. Uh, That's not easy to make those changes. I know for me, it's not easy to have uh, financial conversations with my wife because I get overwhelmed when she is just an amazing person with numbers and can see the numbers and make a, a, a spreadsheet dance. You know, for me, uh, <laughs> spreadsheets are kind of just frustrating sometimes, especially when we're, you know, I want to plan for every contingency uh, and every unforeseen circumstance that might come up with a family and the budget. Um, you know, she does a lot better with that. So that's not something that's necessarily easy. Uh, you know, finances with your faith, That's not something that's easy if you're making a change. Maybe you didn't go to, uh, you know, to church for a while, or maybe you've lost touch with uh, your higher power. For me, it's Christ and God. Uh, You know, if you've lost touch with them, if you've stopped praying or you've stopped meditating, it's not easy to get back into that, right? And then kind of transitioning from there, meditation. Meditation is not easy to do. Uh, especially if you're used to a go, go, go lifestyle. And then all of a sudden you're telling your body to shut your brain function off basically. And, and to hyper-focus on breathing, uh, when you have kids running around and you've got this and that and the other activities that you've got going on, none of that's easy to do. 
right? None of that is easy. All of that is change. Uh, if you need to go to school for a degree, or maybe you're finishing up your degree, or you're getting more education for your career, whatever, you know, that's not easy. That's stretching yourself, taking tests and having assignments and reporting to a teacher. Those aren't easy changes either. Okay. So no change is easy. And if you can find a change that's easy, shoot me a message on Instagram because I, I would love to hear it, <laughs> to be honest with you, because I can't think of any change that isn't at least some sort of uncomfortable and that isn't necessarily easy. It might be simple, but it's not necessarily easy, right? And so those kind of things are the, are the things that I'm talking about here with this quote. And let me just reread the quote again uh, because it just to me it just stood out and is super powerful. The pain of every change, because every it's not just some change, it's not just a change, but the pain of every change, because every change is uncomfortable or painful, if you want to substitute that word in there. The pain of every change is forgotten when the benefits of that change are realized. You know, uh, when I was in at my heaviest at 240, uh, and I'm only five, nine and a half, five ten on a good day, depending on if I stretched or not, <laughs> uh, you know, I was not in a healthy spot and I was dealing with pain on a consistent basis, but you know, I started cutting out calories and intensifying my workouts a little bit more. And that was a different kind of pain than I was used to. Uh, it wasn't fun, but when I got to the point where I'm at now and even, even lower, uh, the benefits were amazing. And when I say amazing, I mean, you know, pain was going away, uh, or was gone. Some of the pains that I was having in my knees or in my lower back, uh, you know, I was able to see abs for the first time in my entire life, which for me was a, a benefit. Some people don't care about that, which is fine. But to me, that signified lower fat percentage, meaning, you know, obviously less fat stores. I'm burning up the calories that I'm, that I'm eating. You know, I'm finding that equilibrium. I, I felt like I was at my peak performance. I was doing really well. I felt comfortable up in the mountains, carrying heavy weight, etc. So those were some of the benefits for me, but you know, Again, I forgot the pain of being hungry. I was no longer hungry. I was no longer in pain uh, after my workouts. The workouts were becoming uh, more and more intense, but not painful afterwards necessarily. Um, another good example is, and I, I'll never understand this, but I know there's a chemical thing that goes on uh, where it's almost like an amnesia, but when women have, have babies... I can't imagine having a baby being comfortable or being something that you want to go through again, but that's a big change. You know, when you're bringing a human being into this world, uh, there's a huge physical change that happens in a woman's body one over those nine months, but then the day of birth, uh, that, that can't be comfortable at all. I don't know any women that say that that's a comfortable experience yet. We still have people that want more and more children you forget the pain of that change because the benefit of having that child and watching them grow and wanting to have another child outweighs the pain that you felt during that change. All of those are prime examples of the pain that you can experience with change and how those benefits, uh, you know, help you. So those are just some examples guys, but I want you to maybe find your own. I'd love to hear, uh, your own example of how a, a pain from change was forgotten when you got to the benefits of that change. Uh, you should definitely go share that over at Redbeard's Fit Crew. Again, the link's down below. I'd love to have you over there. Make some new friends, guys. It's a great group where we share our experiences. We share our changes. You know, when people have children, again, speaking of pregnancy and having, having children, uh, we just had a guy that just had a baby and it was a good response to, you know, from the group of congratulations, you know, for bringing a, a human into the world. You know, we share our, our wins, our goals, our experiences. And I'd love to have you over there at Redbeard's Fit Crew um, to join in and meet some new people, maybe even in your area where you can go out and go hiking, walking, biking, working out with. Uh, I'd love to have that happen for you. So go join us over there. And again, guys, today was the Wednesday wake up. Thank you for tuning in. There's so many podcasts out there. I love that it's growing 
and continues to grow. I love the feedback I'm getting and uh, just want to keep putting out good quality content for you guys. So have an amazing rest of your week. And of course, get out, live your life and love it.